Hey everybody, welcome back. I've got another video for you guys today. Um, today we're going to do a little update on my little experiment with uh, uh, trying to lower and stabilize the water temperature in the aquaponics system here in the desert. Uh, here in uh, beautiful Arizona. So, uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you guys are having good luck with all your gardening and all your projects. And without further ado, let's get to mine. So, first thing what we do is I'll show you guys the outside temperature. So, we're looking at so focus almost 110. So it's pretty warm in the shade right here. It's 110 in the shade, so it's probably quite a bit warmer out here. Uh, I'm guessing 115 or so. So my corn is doing good. It's about three and a half, four feet tall now. All the little baby corns are coming in all right. About half of them did croak off, which is fine. I don't care. I'm not gonna eat that much corn anyways. And uh, got some good watermelon I might do I might pull this watermelon here pretty soon let's pull it out of the bag and have a look at it uh, this is icebox watermelon this is the only fruit I got from the four plants so all the plants died except this last one and I got one little fruit on it it looks really nice um, I'm not sure when to uh, harvest these guys I read somewhere it's when the tendril dries up up here so this tendril is dried up but I'm gonna wait if you guys have any uh, any input on that uh, any any tr tips or tricks and testing it out I, I heard about the flicking it and listening for the deep thud I um, haven't uh, I don't know if that's gonna work on this or not though so I'll go ahead and put my painters bag back on there well I'll do that off camera I can't do it with one hand <laughs> and then uh, we got tons and tons of peppers really ripe doing really good uh, bell pepper plant this thing is just I don't know some days the leaves are perked up and other days they're laying down and all the fruit is squishy so I'm probably gonna pull those out I think it's too hot outside just it's just too hot for them and then uh, we've got a lot of cantaloupe when I say a lot I mean four or five and then uh, yeah we'll check some of these out let's actually let's look at the biggest one it's on the other side we'll go back over there we got our uh, dragon fruit cactus doing really good that thing's uh, loving this heat so I'm not gonna take the bag off because you can see right through it and see the cantaloupe see the, the shape and the color there so those are doing well I'm using these uh, what are these one gallon I think these are one gallon paint filter bags I bought on Amazon I think they're about 40 cents a piece 30 or 40 cents uh, and if you buy the more you buy the cheaper they are of course everything comes from Amazon there's a giant spider. Let's see if we can get him. It's a jumping spider eating a pest. Let's see if I can zoom in. Without scaring him away. There he is right there. Yeah, good job, buddy. You get him. Predatory insects are freaking awesome. Okay. So the outside temperature, I'll get back to focus on what I was doing here. Outside temperature is almost 110 in the shade here. Uh, so let's go ahead and check the water temperature in the aquaponics fish tanks. So last year at the same time, the water temperature was oh, it was nearly the same as outdoor temperature. So it was over 105 degrees. So let's uh, pull out the thermometer. See what it says. 80. 82 degrees. That is awesome. That's perfect. That's actually uh, two degrees warmer than the inside of my house right now. So fish are doing, they're loving that. I can't see any of them right now. They're getting big too. They're growing really fast. Um, I already fed them otherwise. You know what? I'll get some food and show you guys. I'll put the camera right here and I'll be right back with some food. Alright. We got some fingerling food here. Dump some in and see if they come out. They're probably not going to come up because of the camera. The camera shy. Let's see if I pull out one of these uh, bubblers. 
and then that'll calm down the water and we might be able to see inside there. Oh, they're all hanging down right there. They must not have seen the food yet. I don't know if you can see them or not. They're right here. Right in the middle of the screen. Well, they're being camera shy, so attack with them. But yeah, it did get the water temperature down quite a bit. And man, that is nice. 82 degrees. That is fantastic. So, uh, yeah, that's my update for you guys today. Um, let's see, today is July 1st, Sunday. Here in the next couple of weeks or so, I'm going to start getting some potting soil together and uh, start working on getting some potatoes planted out here. It's a little early yet. I think August and September is about the time you want to get them started here in Arizona, but I might cheat and go a little bit early. I got some potatoes inside that are chitting right now. And that just means that they are sprouting sprouts and then I'll cut them up into pieces and then uh, scab over the edges by letting them dry out on a piece of cardboard. Um, but uh, I think that's all I got for you guys today. I just wanted to share with you uh, uh, the water temperature. And, uh, well, I just found another, oh, a really big, <laughs> sorry, there's another cantaloupe. I didn't even see that. I got to get a net out here and put that on that guy hiding in there wow got distracted okay so anyways yeah if you guys have any questions or comments post those down at the bottom um, hit that like button subscribe if you're not subscribed click the bell button next to subscribe and you'll get a notification each time I upload another video if you're interesting interested in following along with some of my experiments or my projects and yeah, and seeing if something works or doesn't work or watch me screw up or find a solution for something so uh, thank you guys for tuning in and as always Keep building.